Illinois Republicans took over the fairgrounds today. It comes weeks after many of the party's leaders were in Milwaukee for the Republican National Convention. Today, those same leaders spoke to a large crowd of their party faithful from across the state. Our state capitol reporter, Theodora Kulavaris, is live at the state fair. So, Theodora, did the weather rain on their parade? Jennifer, it put a brief pause on their events, but they waited out the weather and they finished their rally. And the message we heard from party leaders today is that they're focused on growing their numbers across the state come the election in November. Illinois Republicans have been all in on the Trump Vance ticket. And at the Illinois State Fair Thursday, Republicans reiterated that support. And they want change. And the change that we will deliver is Trump Vance and it will restore our economy, secure our border, cut down on the rampant crime, and tamp down on the out of control inflation. And all the mistakes of the Democrat supermajority here in Illinois are on account of bad policies. Republicans are focused on changing that in November. Our base is fired up and enthusiastic, but it's really broadening our tent and our reach. During Governor's Day, House Speaker Chris Welch celebrated the Democrats' historic supermajorities in both chambers. Democrats point to the new direction for the Republican Party under Trump as part of the reason for their success. Trump has lost Illinois by around 15 points in each of the last two elections. But House Minority Leader Tony McCombie wasn't buying it. She doesn't think having Trump at the top of the ticket will hurt Republicans' chances. That is because of Speaker Welch's mismanagement of the crafting of a map. Um, that has certainly nothing to do with uh, the, the President Trump. Senate Republican Leader John Curran agrees. Voters are also going to think back to the robust economy under the Trump-Pence administration as compared to the out-of-control high cost of living that's going on under the Biden-Harris administration, with coupled with the additional tax increases that Governor Prisker and his Democratic allies have forced on Illinois voters. While all eyes are on the presidential race this November, Illinois Republicans already started building up hype for the governor's race in two years, where they hope to unseat Governor Pritzker in the next election. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavaris, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Theodora, thank you.